Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the implicit differentiation. Given x is equal to e to the power of t, and we have y is equal to 1 plus e to the power of t to the power of negative 1. Show that dy dx is less than 0. So now what we have to do is to find the dy dx. First step, differentiate the x with respect to t. dx dt is equal to e to the power of t. Focus on the power, differentiate it with respect to t, and we will have 1. So dx dt is equal to e to the power of t. Focus on the second part where we have y dy dt is equal to negative 1 bracket 1 plus e power of t negative 2. Differentiate the internal function and we will have 1 become 0. Then exponent t and we will have exponent t focus on the power differentiate the t with respect to t and we will have 1. Rewrite the situation so dy dt is equal to negative exponent t over 1 plus e to the power of t bracket square. Next is to find the dy dx. So dy dx is equal to dy dt multiply with dt dx. So dy dx is equal to negative e to the power of t over 1 plus e to the power of t bracket square. Multiply with, do remember to flip the situation and we will have 1 over e to the power of t. Simplify the situation. So dy dx is equal to negative 1 over 1 plus e to the power of t bracket square. So now we are going to show that dy dx is less than 0. So by referring to the numerator, where we have the negative 1, okay, so this part is always negative. Then kindly focus on 1 plus e to the power of t bracket square. So for this part, as we all know, if we have the square, then we will always have a positive value so try to imagine so dy dx we will have a negative value divided by a positive value so for sure we will have a negative value so if the situation is a negative value and for sure dy dx is less than zero show So for the second part, find the second derivative at t equals to 0. So for the parametric differentiation, we have the formula second derivative is equals to differentiate the dy dx with respect to t. Then do remember to multiply with dt dx. So for this case, we have negative bracket 1 plus e to the power of t to the power of negative 2. If we differentiate the dy dx where we have negative bracket 1 plus e to the power of t to the power of negative 2. Multiply with the d dx where we have 1 over e to the power of t. So kindly focus on the internal function. Differentiate the situation and we will have 2 bracket 1 plus e to the power of t to the power of negative 3. Differentiate the internal function and we will have e to the power of t multiply with 1, then multiply with 1 over e to the power of t. So for the second derivative, we will have 2 over 1 plus e to the power of t to the power of 3, as we already simplify this part. So now, we have the second derivative is equals to 2 over 1 plus e to the power of t to the power of 3. If we substitute the value of t equals to 0, and we will have 2 over 
1 plus e to the power of 0 to the power of 3. e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So we will have 2 over 8. Finally, the second derivative is equal to 1 over 4 when t is equal to 0. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.